All right, good afternoon. I'm here today with Mayor Barrett, with the District Commander Aaron Rapp, Captain Rapp, as well as Assistant Chief Edith Hudson. We're at this location to respond to last night's shocking crime that happened at the George Webb. Last night at about 2 a.m., a group of people got involved in an altercation inside the restaurant. Wait staff attempted to eject them. They resisted, and the cook, a 21-year-old, came to the assistance of the waitresses in order to evict the disorderly people. Moments later, one of those individuals, a career criminal and convicted felon, returned with a handgun and shot the 21-year-old cook in the chest. He died at the scene. Now, this is an active investigation. We have very promising leads, and we have identified a suspect who we will not identify to you at this time. We are actively searching for him. Now, we're here at this location because this is a vibrant and safe neighborhood where violence is unusual. We have an innocent victim here in an environment where so many of our homicides involve people with criminal records. We have an individual whose only offense was working for a living. The tragic loss for his family, and it's tragic for this city that we used to lose a young man who's trying so hard to better himself and help his family. We're committed to cracking this case. We pledge to doing so as expeditiously as possible. In the near term, Captain Rapp, the commander of District 1, will be raising our profile in this vicinity primarily for the purposes of fear reduction. This is far from a hot spot, but we recognize that vibrant commercial districts, when critical incidents occur, require the reassurance of a more highly visible police presence, more committed to providing that as well. We hope to have an announcement sometime in the next few days as we are committed to finding this individual and we're using all the resources at our disposal to do so. Uh, I now turn this over to uh, Mayor Barrett. Thank you very much, Chief Flynn. I have a 21-year-old son, uh, and I can't imagine what the family of this 21-year-old young man is going through right now. My hearts and prayers are with his family. As Chief Flynn said, this was a young man, no criminal record, working in a George Webb, doing the right thing, doing exactly what all of us want a young man to be doing doing everything according to the book. And he tried to help people who needed help, and he lost his life. This is a shocking crime. It's a crime where the Milwaukee Police Department is devoting a lot of resources right now to apprehending the suspect in this case. We will find the suspect in this case. My question when I heard about this was, what was the record of the suspect? As Chief Flynn said, he has a lengthy criminal record. I'm going to ask where he got this gun. Because a young man who was doing what we wanted to do, working, has lost his life. He lost his life apparently to someone who has a long criminal record who had his hands on a gun that legally he was not allowed to have. We will do everything we can to solve this crime. Again, my hearts and prayers are out to the young man's family who lost his life. As you can understand, at this time, we can't answer very many questions about the progress of the investigation, but if you have a few questions, I'll do my best to uh, supply what information I can. Chief, are you looking for help from the public right now uh, in this investigation? At this time, no. Uh, we have a suspect. We know his name. Uh, it's really right now about tracking him down. Can you tell us how you uh, came up about the names and surveillance video for ID a variety of sources. Obviously, he was there with a number of people last night who knew who he was. Uh, there was video of this crime. Obviously, we're not going to release it because it's going to be critical evidence uh, for a judicial proceeding after he's apprehended. So we don't need it to identify him. But we do know who this individual is, and we're going to track him down. For clarification purposes, Chief, you said that um, the waitresses had tried to evict him first. The cook comes and helps out to try to evict him. And then there was a period of time when the suspect left and then came back with a gun? That's correct. There was a struggle on the scene. It was going to be repeat with the waitresses to try to eject the unruly patrons. It was one of those patrons that returned with a firearm and, uh, and murdered the cook. Approximately how much time had elapsed before he came back with a gun? Uh, well, it's not very long. So he didn't have a gun when he was in the restaurant? Well, I have no way of knowing that, but I do know that he returned with it in his hand. 
Can you flee on foot or in a vehicle? Uh, we have a description of a vehicle. We're seeking that as well. Is this characterized as a bunch of after bar people that were here? Or it gave every appearance of that. Apparently they had been drinking and carousing somewhere. Uh, the uh, the, uh, the uh, activity was described as unruly and it resulted in them throwing things around the restaurant and generally uh, behaving uh, you know, very badly. And uh, that's why the uh, wait staff intervened. So how many people were there total who were in this initial argument in the restaurant? I don't have a number for you. Could any of them face any uh, implications of being a part of this? Well, theoretically, we've got some people that engaged in the disorderly behavior, but our primary purpose right now is to uh, identify, is to apprehend the individual committed this homicide. How many other patrons were in the restaurant? I don't know offhand. People who are with them, I mean, you do have a name, so I assume that they're cooperative, the other people that are with them, or? Uh, we have uh, we have witnesses that have provided us information uh, under our police questioning. So, that's really all we've got right now. I thank you for your attention. Thank, thank you. you. Alderman, would you care to say anything? Uh, sure. Uh, Alderman Nick Kovac. Uh, I went to high school around the corner. I represent Oakland Avenue. Uh, as the chief said, it's a thriving commercial district, and I appreciate the response that Captain Rapp is going to provide in terms of reassuring people that the police are here. Um, but frankly, the priority right now is not Oakland Avenue. The priority is finding uh, the murderer. Uh, it's truly a tragic event. The mayor talked about it. The chief talked about it. Uh, this shouldn't happen to a 21-year-old working at 2 o'clock in the morning. Uh, and my, my thoughts and prayers are just with making sure this perpetrator is brought to justice and making sure people like him don't have a gun again. Mayor Barrett on another subject.